I remember this puppet. This is Sir Trevor MacDonald, who is a national treasure and a pioneer in many ways because he was the first black news anchor for ITV television. Now, during the 80s, we only had four television channels. We had BBC One, BBC Two, ITV, and Channel Four was just introduced, I think, in 1982. There weren't many serious black faces on TV at the time. We had Sir Trevor, we had Fluella Benjamin and Derek Griffiths, who did Play School, and of course, Professor Stuart Hall, who was on TV two o'clock or three o'clock in the middle of the week, in the morning, doing the Open University broadcasts. Now, growing up, puppets were incredibly important to us. We engaged with them. And I remember watching Michael Benton's Potty Time, Thunderbirds, and the Pipkins, just to name a few. And as we got older, we developed our political consciousness, our social awareness, and then Spit and Image came on the scene. And for black people, it was really important because, you know, it actually said what we were thinking about the establishment. Now, I thought Spit and Image was hilarious. I thought it was clever and it was controversial. But during those Thatcher years, life was controversial. And Spit and Image called it out, said it how it was. Now, it wasn't only just the visuals that were important, it was also the songs that they put together. So one of the songs that I distinctively remembered was the cricket song, which was a commentary on the apartheid regime that was happening in South Africa at the time, and this rebel tour that took place. For me, Spitting Image always makes me laugh, just thinking about it now, many, many years later, and I would use three distinct terms to describe the series. One would be, of course, satire, two would be slapstick, and the third would be political protest.